So our uh, inquiry question is around what difference to student learning would occur if we enabled staff to have a, a greater level of uh, collaboration, uh, both in terms of planning but also in terms of curriculum delivery and, and whether that would uh, benefit students learning uh, or not. So our hubs of uh, Year 9 students, we have 60 students in one hub and we have five core teachers uh, uh, working with them and they're paired, so there's two uh, teachers uh, working at any one time. What we've come up with is the best way for our hub is that one teacher ends up being the lead teacher um, and the other teacher is the support person. Um, and so the lead teacher will um, set the lesson up, um, introduce and close um, and kind of be in charge of looking at the overall progress um, and the support teacher will um, go around different groups. They'll be more in charge of spending time with individual um, students and individual groups. This year is the first year that all Year 9s are doing a connected curriculum and um, all, year, all core teachers are working towards that. No, they haven't, but... We're able to now measure what is happening, both in terms of, you know, for staff and students and, uh, and parents, who are an important part of the equation, and just looking at working out ways of measuring the impact, um, and then obviously after that what that means for informing next year's practice. There's a lot more project-based learning, a lot more hands-on, uh, learning and a number of students have commented that that's something they've been quite surprised pleasantly about the amount of doing that they're, that they've um, been involved in so whether that's creating circuits uh, or whether that's uh, creating uh, a, a, a uniform for a movie set or around a character that they've, they've sketched out in, in, in English so it's, it's more relevant to things that they may actually be doing in terms of the area of interest uh, in the future. So for project day we, um, we get to choose a, basically a subject that we can work on for four periods on Thursday. I'm learning about pond life and how consumer products affect it because the theme this term is environmentalism. And we put out a survey for project day just asking people how they felt about it. And surprisingly a lot of people actually didn't like it. but. Um, this, so the teachers changed it up and this term a lot of people are enjoying it because they have more freedom with what they're allowed to do. Right from the word go they have ownership. So I think it's very empowering for them to have that sense of I can design my learning program and I can pick something I'm really interested in. So they develop the learning plan, they develop um, the focus my role is more to oversee it and make sure that what they're doing is robust and that they're not just doing something they could do at home, they're actually taking a passion and they're learning more about it. Our Year 9's moving into Year 10 next year will continue um, working in a connected curriculum. The idea is that that does become something we do at a senior level as well, so um, there's a number of staff who are working towards creating some connected um, senior subjects in terms of um, where the school wants to head, that's thinking about how we can do that in a relevant and practical way. It's a key part of what we um, see as important in terms of learning and study um, and, and skills that they are going to need for the rest of their lives, that ability to, 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 to work out the goal, work out what they need to do, plan accordingly and then just as importantly evaluate how that went.